How good is Phillip Island? They actually Not on got Friday, to race. it wasn't. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, well, Friday yeah, yeah. wasn't. But uh, the rest of the weekend was pretty good, and um, the results were a bit of a mix. The mm. snooze fest sprint race happened, but after that, there was a pretty good weekend. Yes, actually saying that as well, they actually got to do a sprint race this time. Yes. Unlike twelve months unlike ago. Last year, yes. Yes. Uh, where weather took over. I was worried about that on Friday. Um, everyone decided to trade their uh, bikes in for canoes. Oh, it was crazy! It was crazy. It was, I think, waiting for practice one, and you're just sitting there waiting and waiting. Yeah. And uh, finally, after three hours, like, ah, oh, we're actually not going to do it. Well. Just, yeah. just go straight to practice two. But, yeah, but it was a great weekend, and uh, well, not for Bagnaya though. No. Bagnaya. What it, actually for the Caddy Factory? Um, yeah. They had a bit of a tricky. They're not. They weren't as dominant as. They were have previously been seen, especially Bastianini yeah. as well. To be yeah. fair, last year Jorge would have destroyed the entire field had it not been for his tire choice. So Bagnaya, Zarco ended up catching him at the end because he went with a soft and everyone else went, went with a medium tire. Yeah. But Jorge from practice one and two, yeah, yeah, he was very, very dominant. It's just that he's now understood that there is a new heavyweight in Ducati, and he is an animal. And what he, what we did, what he achieved on the weekend is ridiculous. Unbelievable. To be 13th into Turn 1, I mean, what are the chances of you tear off your visor, you <laughs> flick it, and it goes exactly under your See, rear tyre? That was what, so comedic. What, you imagine the music. You're like... Dee, 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 what MotoGP riders do, don't do is AFL players. They throw the grass up in the air, find out where the wind is going, and yeah. throw in the opposite direction. Well, yeah, that's a... <laughs> throw it straight into the ha, wind. He however, technically did that. However, <laughs> however, I did hear a very, very good tweet. He is the first rider in history to do a celebratory burnout... <laughs> At the beginning of the race. <laughs> That's how confident he was that he was going to win. He did a burnout at the beginning. It was a stunning shot, though. It was a great shot, yeah. <laughs> you can, to think that you can joke about a tear-off being under your wheel after yeah. you've won. Oh, uh, and like the whole like, team having tear-offs next oh, to them. That was, that was yeah. funny. Yeah. Like, imagine if he didn't win. Then he'd be so pissed. Yeah. Tear-off, tear-off. Oh, my God, this was so bad. Yeah. Even just laughing it off. I think... Anybody who doubted why Marquez took that Ducati factory seat yep. for next year just needs to watch this race. His bike was six kilometers an hour slower than the GP24s down the straights. The way those GP24s accelerate out of the corners, out of Siberia, oh, the way the, yeah, Jorge yeah, yeah. accelerated before Lukey Heights. None of his passes were on the straight. No. no. Yeah, everyone else's were. Yeah. yeah. The yeah. fact Martin just, well, obviously, you know, he passed him and then. And took off, but the first it took it took a few attempts. Yes, mm. and the first attempt failed, and after the the last corner, Martin just sailed on by. Yeah, mm. like it wasn't even there. Yeah, and then yeah, he had to really make sure a block pass was a block pass. Yeah, yeah. I love the Honda, the Honda pass. You know, like turn four, like he just sent it. He goes, "We're both. You either move your leg, or I'm gonna take it he off." Did like, it just happen. Yeah, he did. He did. He did. Just, he did but hang on, they both. Hang on, it reminds me, yes. was it Martin and Bastianini? Yes. Where, where Bastianini did it to Martin? Yes. And Martin... Yeah, but that was, was actually like, contact. This is yeah. There was no contact, no track limits. It, it was, was perfect. Oh, it was beautiful. It was see. stunning. It uh, was and it shows his determination, his um, willingness to fight. Three wins, just like Jorge this year. After, yeah. after you know? what, 1,000 days? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but three wins this year, same as Jorge. Uh, Bagnaya now 20 points behind in the championship. He's going to have to take a lot of risks. Thailand, again, is another Jorge track. Last year, he did really well at that smashed track. It, yeah, he remember. smashed it. Um, Marcus will be there again, and, you know, he'll be quick, he'll be fast. It's, yeah, this title was slipping away from Bagnaya. Mm. A little bit. It's it's going to be very tough. 20 points, three rounds left. So we've got Thailand, Malaysia, and Valencia. Valencia, another track that all gets fast. It's yeah, it's going to come down to the wire. And this is the biggest gap we've seen in a while. In a while. Which is amazing to say, actually. 20 points. Yeah. Uh, but, it might not sound a lot, but... But then again, it's it's just, you know, maybe this weekend in Thailand, maybe it will be a big Naya track. You know, it's just coming in. 
it's very very but i see the the aggression and how Jorge rides the bike he is riding better yeah, yeah. but he did show that he used his tires up at the start of the race this week yeah because the way marquez caught it back was insane i mean he called back the 1.7 second gap when he was third clawed back to to Bagnaya and to Jorge. He now holds the lap record again, which was a record that he had for 13 years wow. um, at, the, at that track. Or, no, no, 11 years, sorry. It, just in general, like, um, I think 2025, they can all pack up and go home. I think it'll be, <laughs> it'll be a demolition. It's like, oh, I don't know if you saw it on the broadcast, because we said it when we were watching it together. There's someone had a sign on the podium, 90, uh, 93 will not be a 46. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, and I'm like, well, they might be. He might, well, well and truly. Yeah, I mean, they might get nine world titles each. Yeah, uh, especially how strong he is now, like in the last year's bike. Yeah, he's just going to be. Dangerous. I think that's that's the biggest story. Just yeah, yeah, how good he is on. And I think old bike, for like... for KTM and Aprilia, Yamaha and Honda, the gap to the leaders is I mean, it's a country mile. Yeah, it's a huge gap. Maybe in qualifying and the practices, it's not that bad. But race pace and what Ducati are doing, and you'd already know that 25 bike is going to be a missile because, you know, they just keep getting better and better. Just the launch control on these bikes needs to be a little bit better. That's some, that's an area that KTM is better. Yeah, and mm. I think we can fairly agree that Brad Binder's the best rider who's not on a Ducati. Can we say that? No, I think Pedro Costa. That being said, though, yeah, actually, let's talk about Costa. Actually, maybe next year. Um, this year, Brad Binder's been great. This weekend, he's been good. This weekend, yes, I agree with you. Well, because the Costa didn't race. Well, yeah, yeah. But even in the sprint. <laughs> but even in the sprint, he was thirteenth before he. Um, yeah, he didn't have a great week. Crashed. Yeah. And I then, must admit, yeah. it would be so scary to ride a MotoGP bike for the first time at Phillip Island. Oh yeah, three hundred and forty k an hour, especially when the first day of it is in the wet. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But these so, guys have no fear. Yeah, I know, but still, like, you can see that there's tracks where he may have not raced out too often. Like, it's, mm. you know, there's no, there's no practice. Phillip Island is one of those tracks. The consequen the consequences are massive. As we when it goes wrong, <laughs> yeah, as we saw that in yeah. the sprint race. Yeah. When it goes wrong, it goes wrong. Really mm. bad. How fast did that crash happen? Do you know? The well, two forty. Two forty. Two forty. When they, when um, well, Vinales hit the brakes, so but Bezeki didn't. Yeah. Bezeki decided I'm just gonna... what the brakes. Yeah, yeah. That was Scary. huge. Scary. Oh. Luckily, they're all okay. Yeah, they're Safety gear. As far gear. as I'm aware, they're all they're all fine. They're both yes. raced the next um, day. Didn't they? Yeah, they did. Yeah. But whoa! Did Ooh. you guys see Moto Two? No, I didn't. So the Australian, the, the Australian got on the podium, right? He got third. And then he was celebrating, and then he stole the oh, bike. Yeah, and, then he and, then, and, then, and then they started the bike, and he went on the grass, and he fell over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel that's something I would do. <laughs> <laughs> Celebration oh, gone wrong. Right. Well, when you haven't done it before, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But overall, you guys are happy with the Australian GP? I thought it was I great. I actually too. thought, I was worried once Mar Martin got ahead, and Marquez decided to put a tear off under his wheel. It was going to be a bit boring. Yeah, I Because the I sprint race was a bit underwhelming. But then... Yeah, oh it was me messaging you guys, oh, yeah. who's first coming, you know? like <laughs> Next Martin... minute, Marquez just comes out of nowhere, climbs all the way back up to the top. Yeah, I don't know why Bagnaia dropped off that bad. Like, yeah. you know, he mm. just decided, eh, third place, no one behind me, all good. He fell real back. Can you find out how far? Ten Wait. seconds. Who was that? Uh, bag, 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Bag nine. Yeah, 10 10 seconds. Seconds. yeah, it was massive. I couldn't, yeah, I thought Ten six seconds. seconds was insane for a world champion. Yeah. Well, yeah. he fell... To three, pretty much mm. straight away, and then yeah, it just got worse and worse. Yeah, because even ba um, Bastianini was seventh or eighth most of the time, but he managed to climb his way back up. I think. Four oh or yeah, but they did um, an interview. Uh, the Italian media did an interview with Bastianini, and he looked like he wanted to knock someone out. <laughs> he goes, "Not good, disaster, not good." Yeah. Uh, had a bad feeling. Uh, almost tucked the front a couple of times, and then like all the Marquez fans are going there. Imagine being on a twenty-three bike. <laughs> stop complaining. <laughs> you suck. No well, wonder Mark took your seat. I think considering their lack of pace this weekend, they've probably maximised their points with what they could have gotten. Yeah. Um, I like how you say lack of pace and they finished third and fourth, like fifth. Like, for a decade. No, for a decade. Compared to how they've been all year. Yeah. Uh, but, also, like but also, I feel Pramac need to maximise their results because next year they're on Yamahas. Well, they did this week. With Miller as well. They did this week. <laughs> second and sixth. Yeah. Like, like I said before, the best rider off of Ducati was seventh. Yeah. Mm. Like, that's the first non-Ducati. Also, so it's ridiculous. shout out to Honda. They actually did something useful for once. 
They got one. points. Oh, and not only just one. They got Zarko had four points in 12th, and Marini in 14th on two points. That's yeah. impressive. Didn't yeah. know that could happen. What, hard to think that once upon a time this team was winning nine to ten races a year uh, and 12 yeah, with Rossi in a season. You know, I feel bad for I do, I feel bad for Luca Marini. There was photos of him. His dream was to ride for Repsol Honda as a kid. Like, he was so excited. And he comes now and it's the worst time ever. Oh, but he knew what he was getting. No, I knew it. No, I know that. But, like, just the timing. The of dream it. of it. And then it's like, it's so that's like Ro- yeah. when Rossi went to Ducati and Ducati was a plank of wood that yeah. you just couldn't turn. Mm. He said literally... The first two laps of preseason, he knew he made a mistake. <laughs> Imagine you Jeez. signed a two-year contract. Yeah. You're going to do 24, 26 races with this team. And in the first two laps of preseason, you know you've made a mistake. Well, that's the friend that knows it's him. So. That's tough. Yeah. Yeah. He looked at his friend Ucho and said, yeah, I think we made a mistake. Whoops. Money talks, but sometimes results but do too. But credit to him, he rode for the whole two years. Yeah, he did. Speaking of results, yes, as we throw those, uh, Marquez obviously was the winner. Martin was second. Uh, what's the gap down there? Six, twenty points. Well, between twenty two, yeah, 20. twenty. So that's extended up a little bit. Uh, speaking of seventy nine to Marquez. Yeah, mm. Bagnaia was uh, was third. Uh, Fabio Di Antonio was fourth. Actually, we got all Italians from third to sixth. And Ana Bastianini was fifth. Franco Morbidelli was sixth. Brad Bender seventh. Maverick Vignola is 8th, Fabio Cotteraro 9th, uh, Raul Fernandez was 10th, Jack Miller was 11th, glad to see he didn't fall off. <laughs> or, or get hit by a seagull. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, what the luck. The rabbits lucky. that went past Jorge Martin and almost crashed. He almost yeah, crashed. Yeah, wildlife. There's yeah. something. There's something here. <laughs> Known for its penguins, but every other animal gets in the way. Yeah. Well, yeah. do you guys remember Ian Noni hitting a seagull with his helmet? <laughs> Speaking of Yanoni. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Nice, well, nice segue. Well, yeah, I know. I love it. VR46 uh, have announced that one of the riders in contention for taking the bike in Malaysia and Valencia could be Andre Yanoni. And Andre Yanoni and Valentino are very close friends. Yes. And so it could happen. The maniac could be back in MotoGP. Can you imagine if uh, Valentino just suits up? I mean, on we his all. Own bike? Uh, I mean, that. I mean, that could you imagine? Or well, he's an ambassador. He wakes up. He goes to bed dreaming, bro. He's an ambassador for Yamaha, so Yamaha don't allow it. Uh, why is he an ambassador for Yamaha if he owns a Ducati team? I know. Anyway, I know. Business. He should. Business. Yeah. Um, business, business. Actually, with that being said, he's actually... Um, business, business. I know this isn't... It's, I, it's, it's MotoGP related, but it's not. He's actually... I think he's trying to do less racing next year as well. Rossi. He is, yeah. Um, Confirmed. With How old is he now? Oh, it's not the age thing. He it's said that family, he started the car racing thing. He's proven that he can be very competitive in that field, but he feels that it's now becoming almost like being a MotoGP full-time rider. Yeah. I mean, they're traveling everywhere. They're going to Brazil. They're going everywhere yeah, racing yeah. with that team. Yeah. Um, he spoke a little bit about... He actually approached Ferrari and asked to, to actually drive with them, but the Ferrari actually turned him down. He said, it's not part of our program. We, we just don't want you to race cars with us. And he goes, that's cool. It went to BMW. <laughs> Fair enough. See how it is. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if they regret that decision. But, um, but that would have been cool. Done a few wins. He's, he's, I think from memory, he's deciding whether to do the GT. Yeah, or, GT or, Challenge. Or GT the WEC. Not yeah. both. One, one oh, one. right. One or the other. Yeah. Because yeah, he also, you know, he's having a baby soon as well, I believe, as well. And he's already had, he already has one. He's had a baby. Um, but he's also having another one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Baby. One, so, on, one on the way. Yeah, one on the way. I don't know why I word it that way, but we're here right. now. Um, yeah, so it's just life. Life. But life. Iannone, Iannone, that would be a great story. So four years out of the sport for doping, <laughs> well, apparently. Um, then he comes back to Superbikes. He's uh, got a new contract for Superbikes next year. So it's not back in MotoGP? No, 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 just a wild card. Yeah, but there was rumours he was... No, Miller took the seat. Yeah, Miller took it. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, and then, actually, we've got a double Yamaha points, which is... Pretty shocking. Mm. Alex Rins, uh, 13th. Luca Marini, as we mentioned before, 14th. And Alex Marquez, 15th, who also had a bad start. So, oh. shout out to the two Marquez brothers. Uh, then we had Alicia Spargo, Augusto Fernandez, 17th. Uh, Takanai Fiumi, 18th. Benzeki Prani finished the race with an 18th crash. In 19th. And then Salvadori and John Mir did not finish. Wow. 
Yeah, so what that was MotoGP. Massive. Yeah, 100%.